trick, I won't trick, cause if I trick, I might cause a trick, we'll see. Now you're probably wondering why there's four amps. They're all identical. Well, you're about to find out. All right, check it out. We got four of these. And the reason for that is, is that this thing is made to not only adjust your crossover properly, but it also is made for gain matching. So if you had four of these on your subwoofers and you wanted them all to put out the same exact power at the same time, uh, this would be the product for you right here. All right, so I went and bought these amps just so I could show you guys what's up and how it works. It's not the most expensive amp, but they're all right. They'll get the job done. So what I'll do is I'll slap them on this board right here. There's too many of them to line up over here and I don't want to take all this apart. So I'll use the head unit. I'll use the amps. I'll use a crossover and I'll hook it up to those SMD subs just sitting there. We'll see how much we can get them to move with those little crunch amps. But um, first thing we're gonna need to do is bring them over and start hooking them up. It's gonna be a few. It's gonna take me a little while. But I'll check back with you here in a minute. That'll do. That'll do. All right, so I finally got all the amps hooked up, but um, let's see if they light up. So what I want to do with those four amps is hook all four of them up to two woofers. And when you got an amp on each coil, you kind of want them to all put out the same amount of power. So that's where this new device comes in, the SMD CC1. It's a crossover calibrator. It's a gain matching device. And uh, it'll also set your subsonic filter as well. So let's go ahead and see how this thing works. All right, first thing we always want to do is get the maximum output with the cleanest sound, no distortion. Gain is all the way down, frequency is all the way up. You put it back where you want it when you're done. But I'm gonna turn this gain up. There we go, distortion, back it off a little bit. Oops, just a little. There we go. All right, same thing over here. Distortion, back it off. You see right there, back it off. Okay, same thing over here. Okay. All right. So, all four of these amps right now are putting out maximum power with no distortion, with the deck all the way up to 33. But we have this other problem. They're not all putting out the exact same amount of power. All right. So this thing doesn't need very much power to operate. So we're just gonna go ahead and turn the volume all the way down for now. And then we're going to enter competition mode. This is a crossover calibrator. It also gain matches amps, as I've already stated. So here we go. Hold this button down. Lights blinking means that we're in a different mode. So what we're going to do is, I still have 40 hertz in the deck ready to go. You can use just about any frequency you want. So I'm going to ground this. And I'm going to put the probe inside the master amp. This is the one where we're going to match every amp to. We're going to turn up the volume on the deck until we get a signal. Got one. When it turns red, that means it's too much power. I'm going to back it off. You just need it to be green so that it sees a clean signal, which it does. Go ahead and hit the read button. Now it says calibrated. That means that I can go now to each and every amp and as you can see it's not calibrated so I'm going to adjust the gain there we go whoops there you go now this amp and that amp are perfectly matched so we're going to do the same thing we'll continue on on every single amp This one's not too far off. Perfectly calibrated there. And then we'll go and do this last one. Damn, that's easy.
There you go. So as of right now, all four of these amps are distortion free at full power and they're putting out the exact same amount of power. Let's just double check with this, even though you don't have to, but we'll do it anyways just to make sure that they're all pretty close to the same. Six point three. Six point three. Six point three. And six point three. All right, here's the next thing that the CC one does. As you can see, these are bass amps, so I'm going to choose low pass. But I've got a 30 hertz dot, and I've got a 250 hertz dot. Well, let's say I wanted this amp to be tuned to around 80 hertz and below. Um, let me see, how am I going to get that there? I guess I'll just turn it, and I'll guess where it's at. Maybe somewhere around there? That could be 80, that could be 60. I have no idea what that is. So. The next job of the crossover calibrator is to calibrate the crossovers. Now I'm going to look at this chart right here, and I want it to be 80 hertz, so I'm going to pick track 16. As you can see, track 16 is 80 hertz. Track 16. All right, so I've got the frequency turned all the way up on this. Set to low pass, and uh, I've got a signal, just enough to turn it on. If it turns red, then that means that you've overloaded it, so just leave it at green. This is already turned all the way up, so as I back it down, actually, I'm going to want to hit read first. There we go. As I back it down, there we go. There we go. That should be exactly at 80 hertz. So that's a done deal. Now I'll just go ahead and do that to all these other amps. Okay, I got a signal. I'm going to hit read. And then as I back this down, There you go, 80 hertz. All four of these are set and they're ready to play. And now it may seem complicated, but it's not, it's really easy. So let's hook up these woofers and see if we can't get them moving. And hopefully they should all be moving in sync. All right, so I hit the read button, and then I'm going to back this off. Dude, what the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that on YouTube, motherfucker, just because you did that. All right, back at it again. <laughs> 